Perl tutorial part 36 create a form in this tutorial we're going to create this web form and in the following tutorial we're going to submit this web form and collect the data in a script so we have um, an imaginary restaurant here and we are going to enter our name we're going to choose what we would like to eat we're going to select how we would like to pay and we're going to select whether we're a first time customer or not and perhaps suggest some comments or just say thanks and then we're going to submit our form let's begin to create this form first of all I've got my little message please create your order now the first line of the form is the open form tag plus we have two attributes action equals and method equals now method can either be post or get now post will keep the data private which is what we want in this case whereas in a search engine where the data comes out in the query string we would use get that will be explained further down the track now in our action equals attribute will be the script that we're going to be posting this web form to so put in the address of your server.com slash CGI bin slash and then the script that we're yet to create but this will be the script that's going to pass this form so that goes in there on the first line of the form next we asked for the name of the individual ordering so we use a text field so input type equals text name equals name now the name attribute is what we're going to use to collect the data with our script in the next tutorial now name equals name it's equals name is just because we're asking for someone's name and then you can make the size of the text box a certain width and the maximum length of characters that can be typed into that text box can be entered here so far we have please create your order name next we ask for the menu and we use check boxes so people can check what food they were like would like so input type equals check box name equals burger value equals yes name equals fries values equals yes name equals coke value equals yes coffee yes tea yes so basically if you check the box you're saying yes you would like the burger yes you would like the coke so yes I would like a burger and yes I would like a coke and yes I would like some fries that is how checkbox works okay and now we have a payment method which we use a select box to ask for the payment method so let's pop in a select box here now here we have payment method our name name equals payment and this is the word we'll be using to collect what the user has selected 
in our script. So in the select, we open with the select tag attribute name equals payment and then we close with the closing select tag and in between we have our options value equals account they perhaps have account with the restaurant cash check credit card payment method select so we can select our payment method like so now next in the form we ask if the user is a first time customer or not we do that with a radio button so let's pop in a radio button first time customer input type equals radio now the name of the form radio button we're going to call that first time value is yes for the yes and the value is no for the no they both have the same name whereas in the check box they all have different names but the value is all yes here in the radio input they all have the same name but different values if we preview this first time customer we can only select one or the other with a radio input okay and next we have our text area that we will use for comments so this is another way of collecting input comments text area wrap equals virtual that's not totally ne necessary but it just means it won't when you come down to a new line it won't hard wrap now the name is comments this is the name we will use to collect whatever the person types in to the comments box in our script in the next tutorial and coles and rows columns and rows defines how what the width and the height of the text area is and then we close our text area with the closing text area tag and here's our comments box finally I want to put in a hidden input now this is before we put the submit button in now this is an input tag that we will not see but we can collect the data from this input when we submit the form now for example a hidden input on this form input type equals hidden name equals store just imagine there's hundreds and hundreds of these stores all over the country and this will log which store the order came from so this order comes from the Smith Street store and this is just hardwired into the form and it's a hidden form field and you will not be able to see it now next we have the submit button input type equals submit value equals whatever we type into that box place order in this case if we don't have a, a value it will usually default to submit query so we can personalize that by typing in something of our own preference here place order and now finally obviously in our form we use the close form tag so that is complete form and in the next tutorial we will pass this data and collect it at the other end and that enables us to do something with the data so that's how to create a web form